Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Muhammad Firdaus bin Rabai. I am from UMK Jeli and I am from SEN3. And today I would like to present about the species distribution of Macaca nemestrina by using the maximum entropy or MaxN software and also GeoCAD. So uh, we will move to the slide. So what is the species distribution model? So species distribution model is also known as the environmental niche model. Uh, it is a computer algorithm to understand and predict the distribution of a particular species. For example, in my uh, study is the Macaca nemestrina species. Uh, so the uh, SDM will predict the distribution uh, across the geography area and time by using the environment data. So environment data, uh, for example, is the temperature, precipitation, soil type and water depth. So the SDM is a model that can be used to understand how the environment condition will affect the occurrence of a species uh, in that particular area. So the species chosen uh, is the Macaca nemestrina from the phylum Chordata, class Mammalia, order Primates, suborder Haplorhini, family Cercopicidae, uh, from the genus Macaca and from the species Macaca uh, nemestrina. So, basically, uh, this uh, species from from the apes, uh, it is uh, the ape species. So, uh, in this study, the one of the software that have been used is the ArcGIS or GIS. So ArcGIS is a acronym from the Geographical Information System Software. So the ArcGIS is used to analyze the geography information by showing the geographical statistics through layer building map, like the climate data. So the software used uh, for this research is to make sense Microsoft Excel, GBIF to identify the coordinate and also GeoCAD. So basically GeoCAD is a tool from a website that provide primary uh, data, biological data for the semi-automated IUCN, uh, red list assessment and analysis. So uh, the analysis is centered on the two types of geographic range which is uh, the EOO extent of occurrence and the area of occupancy or the uh, what we call AOO. So uh, in this research, uh, I have used the MaxSEN for the data analysed. So MaxSEN is the short form from the maximum entropy modelling. So the MaxSEN will require three types of data which is uh, the CSV file from the Excel uh, and also the bias file and lastly is the environmental data. So some of the basic feature of MaxN is uh, it uses the present data and the algorithm compares to the location of the species that we have choose uh, to all the environment that are available in the study region. So MaxN define this available environment by sampling a large number of points uh, in the study area. So because the background point can include location where the species is known to occur, background points are not the same as the pseudo absence points. So uh, basically the background points define uh, the environment available environment. So next is the material required to run the max N. Firstly we need the sample data or the point of occurrence. Uh, that we obtain from the GBIF website. The next is the bias data and the lastly is the environmental layer. So after we have all the data in the MaxN, we will need to create a new folder uh, that is called output folder to store all the results from analysis. So this is the example of the uh, map produced by the MaxN which is the max map and the average map. So, uh, area under the curve or AUC is the area under the curve of the receiver operating characteristic or the ROC. And it is uh, measured 
dominant tool in evaluate the accuracy of model in the in predicting the distribution of a species and so this is the result uh, that have been obtained from the geocat website so it shows that the conservation assessment status which is the eoo and the aoo so the eoo uh, has been analyzed to be 37314.636 km and the aoo uh, for the uh, species is uh, around 60000 km so uh, this is the result that produced by the geocat and the unit for the area is uh, kilometer square uh, in in this study uh, the ecological niche modeling or enm uh, the output of the enm can be produced by using the software uh, but due to some uh, error in the data the enm cannot be executed so as an alternative uh, the data of the enm have been obtained from the IUCN red list website so uh, the outputs is uh, as follow and it show that the species is uh, listed as the endangered uh, species so here is the distribution of the species uh, which is the distribution map of the Makaka Nemestrina species uh, so uh, that's all from me uh, thank you